Here I'm at the Belcara Cottages um, doing a 37 stroke painting of the cottage and thinking about how I'll paint it. I have my stones ready to count with. So the outline of the house could go something like this. Oh, that's two strokes. One, two, three, four. Come around here. Okay, then I have a post here. Okay, so that's three strokes right there, just outlining it. So it's much more economical to get the brush loaded with a lot of paint and fill in areas. So I'm going to do that now. And I'm going to paint this front of the house. Go right around that door. So I'm still have still one brush stroke. Good. Okay. Now we'll make this a little another brush stroke over here. One. I'll carry it over. And this is going to be green later, but I'll fill it in right now. And I might as well do this tree here too. Made that one thinner. There. Okay, let's get a nice dark in here. Still using the same brush, not lifting. Can do a lot with a flat brush. The hog hair really pushes the paint around. Softer brush is good for blending, but this is really good for laying down those darks. This whole thing is in dark here too. Around. Let's put the dark of this tree. Might as well use it as far as I can. There. There. Okay, let's get a nice green color going. I'm actually gonna pick up some green here and a nice opaque green, like chromium oxide. That'll cover very well, but I'll use a different green for the foliage. So let's let's uh, play on the foliage here in the front. I've got a bit of color on my brush, and sort of has this. These are the darker parts of those ferns. There's a path here, come across. This will be the darker part of this little side of the house here. There. Let's get a brighter yellow. Wasn't bright enough. So let's just get straight yellow there and a bit of white. And that should, let's get a nice lime green. Good. Okay, this will be my ferns. Be 
little play on the brushwork to get a play on the, on the ferns and bushes here. Come off. Stroke. Now let's get a gray in there for the sidewalk. And this will be, I have two colors on my brush, a light gray and a dark gray. And let's see what I can do with that. So I push it through here, let it blend, twist, brush, and there's a nice path. Okay, I picked up uh, 10 more stones and uh, I'm going to continue doing limited strokes of 37. I'm now painting in the window here and I'm just trying to get some negative whites in there. So that's one stroke. I'll do the same for this. texture and the some of the panels here. Shadows in here. some of this foliage here, just to fill in that, it's going to be the sky. Okay, we're getting close to the end here of the 10, 20 now. I just like a little more blue in here, so I'm gonna push the blue right back here. to outline that house a bit better. There's some.
some interesting. Green there. Maybe some interesting. There's a nice little green stripe here. Oh, a blob of paint. Carry it. darker so this is the last little last hurrah and I'm going to push that lighter sky come right up here and the clouds now Hope you enjoyed this little 37 stroke painting. Uh, it's a really dear place to paint here in the community of Belcara. I wrote a book called Between Cottages about uh, this uh, little community with a bunch of artists that I know called the Passionate Outdoor Painters and we put together our collection of paintings that we did on location here to write about the lovely cottages that are situated here in Belcara and uh, hoping that they may remain for us to appreciate the heritage that they hold and the inspiration they can give to the next generation. Thank you. So here I am on the Hollyburn Trail um, practicing a 37 minute painting uh, as outlined by the late Robert Genn, one of my favorite painters and mentors out of many. And he went out plein air painting like this and uh, encouraged us to play and find our voice.